it is here everybody so many of you have been waiting for this release <coughs> all i'm going to say and i'm going to introduce you to nikki in just a moment so this is your heartfelt creations climbing climbing clematis i want it all collection the price is incredible can i just show you the freedom price on here as well we are under 100 pounds we haven't even this is literally the start of the show we're approaching 10 percent of the stock that gives you an indication of how busy we are this is going to be a busy show. Nikki, you were saying, Nikki, Afternoon. that you were getting a lot of emails from uh, fans of Heartfelt mm -hmm. Creations saying they wanted to go for this. Yes. And you were telling, it's A, it's yeah. exclusive mm -hmm. at the moment. As it stands, it is exclusive till the uh, craft store until like next week. And also you're saying that, Price hold off uh, there was a bit of social media yeah. talk and and obviously i couldn't say anything because um we i can't, can't. i can't, can't. Yeah. i can't um but um, you did say our price but is yes gonna be good. but the price always drops so obviously the price yesterday yeah was a lot higher than what you're going to announce right. in a second well that's it because yesterday it was 136.92 <coughs> that is the regular retail price for this collection you are saving 28 pounds the saving goes up if you're a freedom member 38.69 it is a why not deal which means if you are not a freedom member pay your seven pounds and 95 uh, pence become a freedom member uh, 797 apologies pay your 797 become a freedom member you're saving a set for 10 pounds freedom member so you've more than covered your freedom membership and look at that 32.68 your first flexi payment as a freedom member so it's a three flexi payments your first at 32.68 we're very busy. I, over 10% of the stock. All I can say is Nikki has done, we did our research. We had a little look and saw prices elsewhere. We're competitive and elsewhere, you're gonna have to wait till next week. Uh, I've got to point out to place your order that is. Now it is on extended delivery with us. It's gonna be dispatched on the 14th of June. But that's only because it's the time it's gonna take to come uh, from the States. Cause obviously Heartfelt Creations it's an American company, but you do not need to worry about import duty. You don't have to worry if you're a freedom member, and I want everybody to become a freedom member on this. Uh, a freedom member, you don't have to worry about your PMP, that's covered as well. And then enjoy freedom membership for a month. At the end of the month, opt out. Enough about the housekeeping. Let's immerse ourselves into set. Heartfelt creations are incredible with their releases, and I, I look forward to each month to the Heartfelt Creations release. The Climbing Clementus as a flower is, but can I just show this? This one example here, I had a look at it in the studio, oh, sold. That is, I mean, Nikki, that's beautiful. Thank you. But, do you know, it is what Heartfelt give us because they give us the paper pads. So that's going to give us our backing papers and a nice image to yeah. work with. But then they've given us the stamps and those dies to create the three-dimensional yeah. flowers. And we do have the mould with this as well. So if you've never, ever used a Heartfelt mould, do watch my first demo. And I must say, this is one of the best moulds that they have brought out because you have to do absolutely, really nothing apart from put it through the mould. We said before, we worked together a number of times, Nikki, and we said, you can tell a Heartfelt Creations card. Come on. Yes. That is a Heartfelt Creations card. Absolutely yeah. stunning. The flowers are incredible and that is really oh, the heart of this release cool. but then you've got the papers and everything just going to go through what you're getting in this collection so this is the i want it all collection and you are getting it all so you're getting the clematis stamp and die which you can see here and one thing i absolutely love about heartfelt creations the quality so red rubber uh, that you're working with the quality of the dies it's foam mounted the rubber it's oh, they're all pre-cut for you but having the dies no fussy cutting whatsoever no fussy cutting and they fit perfectly over your stamped image and you can see where you're putting that die as well because they're kind of see-through they're open and it, it's really easy and quick and what heartfelt have done is rather than just give us one stamp and one die we've got various oh i thought sorry i thought you'd pick the individuals up <laughs> i'll sh we'll show you in a moment but you've got various different uh, um, well, amounts of sorry, the flowers I pick, I no that was one. that's just, fine I'll, i just happened to look my over mistake. that was a spray so um you've got um i think there's four of the small clematis on one and two of the medium and two of the large so you're stamping two all in one go there you're you die go. cutting two all in one go i mean that I mean, look at look at the size 
of these. And even down to the leaves, you know, they haven't just given us one, they've given us two, which, because they know that we are going to want to make lots of these flowers. Yeah. And then you get the corresponding die in there as well. So it is stuck down, so I won't open that up, but you can see there, let me turn that around and you can have a look at the, uh, the dies that you're getting. Actually, I believe it is open, so let me just. Yeah, so the dies are literally a smidgen bigger than your stamp, which yeah. means that when you stamp your image, that die is going to fit perfectly over yeah. it. Really, easy. really easy shoes. If you've never, ever mm -hmm. made any flowers, yeah. heartfelt flowers, I would say, are so easy this is, to create. If you had to sort of ask me with regard to heartfelt, where, what do I think of? When you say heartfelt creations, mm -hmm. what's the first thing that comes into my mind? Two things, flowers, and, and also and the, pa the, pa the pad. paper pad. Yeah, the paper was, pad. We, we both said that yeah. at the same time because the paper pad is the heart of the collection. And basically, what you've got is you have got a full collection, so you can create right from the minute you get it home. You've got your paper pad. You've got your florals in there. You've got your panels in there. You've got some spaces for your sentiments. Then you've got on the other side, because they are double-sided and you're getting two of each, so you've got 12 designs, two of each. But then you've got some um, other colours in there, sort of like, so you've got your backing papers in there, all in one paper pad. You've got tags in there as well, and you've also got some images in there that correspond with your dies, which means that if you haven't got time to die cut and stamp, all you've got to do is take those images and die cut. I will just have a flick through the paper pad. And if you do want, and I know a lot of viewers like to go uh, with regard to the paper pad, they like to, uh, oh, is that for me to undo it? Thank no, you. I just slide it Sorry. down, but if you can. I'll just pull that in. Wait a second. The, okay. thing, the thing is, we've spent too much time talking about it before the show. We weren't actually prepared, because <laughs> we normally oh, get all this ready, okay. don't we? Yeah, I'll just show you. Now, we are approaching 20% uh, of the paper pad by itself. Uh, if you do want to go for one extra, I know so many viewers uh, do like to do that because what it does is gives you that ability, obviously, to make more cards. Because we're saying in each one of these, a minimum of about 80 cards. Oh, easy. Minimum. Um, each paper pad is slightly different now. I think um, up until about a year ago, I could safely say every single paper pad, but every paper pad they do now is slightly, slightly different. But as you can see, you've got your large six by six panels. You've got your 12 by 12s in there. Great for your scrapbooking. I know I've got some scrapbooking fans out there and watch tomorrow's noon show because I will be doing a scrapbook layout nice. with these paper pads. But as I say, the images are absolutely beautiful. You've oh, got your birdhouse there, you've got your bird in there, and okay. you've got other images that are going to correspond with other collections that we've brought out Plastic as well. So elements, they everything yeah. mixes and matches. So they were the, they're the, the die elements. Cut sheets, die cut sheets, yeah. You know, this is why I say it's more of a paper kit because you can die cut these out. And normally you'd buy a paper pad, then you'd buy some packs of all the elements and all your matting and layering. And, but it's all in here. Your six by sixes are in here as well. Stunning. So that is your paper pad in the mix. We're busy at the moment. You're also getting your. Um, you've, oh, sorry. Uh, you've got your uh, packaging as well. So you've got to keep your collection in there. You've got your yes. storage within there as well. Um, and uh, let me just show you too some inspirations because this is the kind of thing that you can make with this collection. Having a look here and. We need to stress, you're getting the mold within this as well, and the mold is exceptionally good. Now the mold just by itself is worth $21.99, and I will just show you that mold. Have a look at this, because suddenly we can batch cut, batch mold I should say. And Your look flowers. How deep, that, that is just ridiculously deep. And it, and, it, and it works, it even works with those images from the paper pad as well. So as I say, if you don't have time to stamp colour and die cut, all you've got to do is die cut them out. And it honestly takes absolute seconds to put through your machine. Yeah, just going to have a look because I didn't show you here the stamps that you were getting. We had a look at the spray, you didn't see this one here with the birds. So just showing you, that's your birdhouse and trellis. You even got the little tweedy birds in you there have, as well. See those. Then there's birdhouse birds. and the trellis. You've got the corresponding dies in there as well. Of course, you have got those corresponding dies, so no fussy cutting whatsoever. Nikki, I know we're going to get the demonstration in a moment. Can I just show a few more examples? Oh, absolutely. And I want to say, this is why we are so busy right now. Because when Heartfelt bring you a release, they bring you a release. And look 
at the inspirations in front of me. They are breathtakingly good. You this is the kind of thing you can make. Yeah, and I mean, the thing is, you can go absolutely to town. Like, is this one, is this Lynn that's done this one, yeah. I think? So Lynn has absolutely adorned the whole card with the clematis. But then you can go something a little bit more simple, something like this. Just put a few flowers on there with a decorative die, and it works beautifully. All I'm saying, you're going to put the flowers on everything. Because the flowers are stunning. So yes. you really would, wouldn't you? I don't actually think I've made any cards with this one where I haven't put any of the yeah. three-dimensional flowers on. Well, why? I mean, with the mould, and you're going to have these as a resource, you're going to want to put them on everything because they look fantastic. So this is our brand new release. Things to point out. No way. No way. We're 10 minutes into the show and a quarter of the stock, and let me put that into context, this is Heartfelt Creation. So first up, we get a lot of stock from Heartfelt. So quarter of the stock that's meant to last 24 hours has gone in the first 10 minutes of the show. I want to point out that this, as it stands today, is exclusive to the craft store. You cannot buy this anywhere else. Uh, and if you do, I mean, next week, I know uh, next week some other suppliers might be offering it, but you're still going to have to wait and you're not going to get flexi and you're not going to get the price we have as well. So the price is exceptional. For Freedom members, under £100 for a release that includes six incredible stamp sets. You're getting the coordinating dies and you're getting the flower shaping mold and you're getting the foundation piece, which is the paper pad for the beautiful Climbing Clematis collection. If you want it all, now is the time to get it. As a Freedom member, and I've got to stress, nobody pay this full price because Freedom members get an additional 10 pounds. So 10% uh, and it's 10.90 actually that they get. That more than covers your Freedom membership. So become a Freedom member, enjoy Freedom membership for a month, then opt out at the end of the month. No harm, no foul. And during that month, you get exclusive Freedom member discounts and you also get uh, your PMP including anything that you purchase, which includes this order right now. Uh, we're gonna jump on the website as we head to demonstration. There are other goodies to be discovered on the show as well, uh, other things you might want to add in. So if you're going to go for the I want it all, then you might also want to put another paper pad in the mix. Yeah, so we get another paper pad. And, and the storage too, because we've got the storage folder. Now when you go to check out, there's something interesting here. And Nikki, uh, I love this, because Nikki, Nikki knows. So there you can take advantage of Flexi, but Nikki was saying, with the stamens, it's a good one, and you can see them all here. Look at all the stamens that you can get, the different sets. You've got brights, assorted pearls, pastels. So all of these you can add into your order as well. Uh, get say, I mean, look at that saving on that one too. But these, uh, you can only access these once you're checking out. So you won't see them on our website. You need to access them when you're checking out, but they can be added into your order. But stamens just work so well with this release and you will absolutely be using these. So do have a look when you're checking out. If you don't have access to the internet, you can always talk to our lovely call center staff and they will talk you through your options. Enough from me, we are gonna, we're busy. We're gonna head to our first demonstration. If you do have any questions for Nikki, please get in touch, studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, so the clematis. You have got three sizes. So you've got the large, the medium, mm -hmm. and then you have a small. And you can layer them up as many times as you like, or you can mm -hmm. use them singly. But obviously the first thing you need to do is color them. Yeah. So to color these, I need two more pale pink ones. So I'm going in with my sponge sugar and I'm basically just putting my base coat okay. on. Okay. So it's a little bit like putting your foundation on. So I'm putting my base coat on there, using the daubers, really easy, really quick. This is a really nice pale pink because I want to get two tones in here. Yeah. So as you can see, with Heartfelt, where the artist has given us, she's given us everything that we need. I'm saying she, I'm not quite sure if it is a she. Mm -hmm. Apologies if it isn't. So. I've got the lines down here. So most clematis have that kind of deeper colour going down like the, the vein of the... I might actually go for this slightly deeper one. So I'm going in with a deeper pink, but I'm trying to catch more of the tip now okay. of my... So we're just using the tip. ...dauber and just going down the centre. Mm -hmm. So if I was at home, I actually stand over it, but obviously I want everyone at home to see what I'm doing. OK, 
okay so just add in basically a line and it gives it a really nice kind of effect so it's yeah. blending out once I get to the center okay and I'm doing exactly the same with my other one just going down a couple of times using my dauber but using more of the tip mm. okay and that's beauty of the dauber because you can go really fine with the tip or we can go for more or you can go more or like this that I'm doing now so I'm covering the back yeah. in a darker pink just do the back of this one as well as you can see the daubers make it really easy and quick I will be using mm. my watercolored pens today as well we have got the trellis and we've got the birdhouse which I've been using my watercolored pens, but the daubers right. yeah, make it good. really easy and quick. How did that That's didn't done. take seconds? Just uh, very quickly, I just want to mention mm. that we have got an essentials collection as well. So if you do want to go for the essential, if you can't quite stretch to the complete, that's absolutely fine. With the essentials, so you're going to get your climbing clematis uh, stamp and die. So you're climbing clematis stamp and die, and you're also getting the paper pad in there as well. All of that for forty six ninety seven saving five pounds nine six eight four eight zero your item number so I'm just going to do a leaf as well because you mm -hmm. have got the leaves in the full collection doing the back and the front in mm. twisted I seem to go through phases you've probably seen me use these same colors for the last three months mm. but I might change my mind next month and go to completely different shades but at the moment these are working for me a lot of crafters do that I certainly do that I just it's just a phase that I go yeah. through so with this now I'm going in with my mowed lawn nice. and just shading that up and again seconds to oh. add my color yeah. onto my leaves so the next thing is I'm going to take my daubers out of the way I'm going to bring the mold in so nice. as you can see you've got lots of different spaces it's basically <coughs> like a jigsaw puzzle mm. you know the children's ones where you get the do they still do those the wooden ones with the little uh, okay, and you could yeah, put yeah, little I know the ones. yeah sure they little do. bit bit like that okay not sure where that just came from mm -hmm. but and then you can pop them in. I'm popping these in with my image face down. Okay. That's the design of the clematis that I'm doing for this demo, but you can have a play. Yeah. You can put more than one layer in as well. You can put two, maybe even three layers in at a time. And then yeah. I'm going to pop a leaf in. If I was at home, I would completely fill it, but yeah. I don't need to. And then I'm going to lightly spritz it with water. Okay. Just a light spritz and then I'm going to pop that top on. You know which way it goes, as I say, you can see where they're going to fit, but you've also got some feet that will he help keep that in place. It feels to me like that is the deepest mould I think I've seen. It's one of their deepest, yeah. it is, yeah. And honestly, it is. Uh, w when I first used it, I thought, wow. I'm not going to have to use my hand tool. So yeah. you very often see me put my flowers through the mold and then I use my hand tool to add just a little bit more. But with these, this one, it just does it all for me. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shim, which I should have had ready. A shim is basically a piece of card or a paper to add just a little bit more pressure when I pop it through the machine. Okay. You will need a deep dish machine. Mm -hmm. Just move those out of the way. And that's going through nice and easy. So you don't want, if, you, if it, you're feeling that you're really having to sort of like put some pressure on to get that through, yeah. I would say you don't need a shim. Okay. But everyone's machine is different. So the next thing is let me move that plate out of the way. So if you're not sure if your machine will work with the moulds, if you go onto Heartfelt Creations website, they have a full list of all the machines that you can use your mould with. And there... Now look at I, those. I'll tell you what, we'll take the bigger one. And oh. do you know, you it changes the nature yeah, of... Look. If you drop it, you can hear the, the change. It does, it, it goes harder. Yeah. But look, there's the flat one. I mean, you can't compare. The realism you get, once it goes through the mould, it's a game changer. And anyone can it's use those so moulds. easy. Okay, so I've now got mm -hmm. two...
two, two, and two. Yeah. So I've got would six flowers all together. There's my you, leaf as well. Would you put like two or three through the mould? You can put two or three through the mould, and yeah. it works just as well. But what I would say is, when you spritz, I spr if I know I'm putting more than one layer, so I'll spritz my plate first, put my first layer on, and then give the second layer a second, a very, very light spritz. Else mm -hmm. what happens is the bottom one won't get any spritz and okay. it just yeah. doesn't work so easy. So then mm -hmm. I'm going to take my flower shaping mat. Mm -hmm. So I am using my flower shaping tool now, mm -hmm. but very, very minimal. So with these ones, I'm just going to lightly, just very lightly lift my centre. Yeah. And very lightly again, yeah. lift that one. Take my glue gun and just add a little bit of glue. So this is the larger one. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay. And then just alternate that so the petals go in between each other and just lift that up. Perfect. Oh, and that's on. pretty, okay? That's really now we pretty. spoke about the samens. Yeah. Okay, so that what we're going to do is we've got five shows, so I'll be showing you different ways to make your flowers, different ways you can shape them, and different stamens as well. So in each show, I'll be using different stamens. Now for this one, I've used the very top ones I did notice on the screen a moment ago. So I think these were the first ones. Mm -hmm. So I've got three of them, and I've literally twisted the wire around to keep those together. Okay. And then, just to pretty it up, I do believe these may be near the bottom. These are very tiny pearl mm -hmm. ones. And I sort of like U shaped them and folded them in half like that. Okay. And then just pop them on. And then I've got a couple more. So I'm keeping that in my hand. It's something that you might find a little bit fiddly to start with. Mm. But once you've done a few, it's easy. And there is the centre. So if you're using flour with a wire, all you need to do look, is just twist that wire around and that will keep that together. Perfect. Easy as that. Mm. And then just take your scissors and then that's my stamen. So what I need to do now is just make a hole in my flour. So what I'm going to do I tend, every heartfelt crafter probably does it all differently. We all have our own techniques, but I like to use my knife because that's quite thick mm. and just pop that in. And do you still want a tight fit there? Like that, yes. Not too, you don't want it too big. So I've probably done that too tight. Uh -huh. And before I come on air, every time I do this, put hand cream on so my hands <laughs> are really slippy but mm -hmm. we'll go up probably could have done with a little bit bigger but yeah. there we go and I've just moved them around slightly now okay but there you have and then you can do is you can lift those petals up oh, come like on, that Mickey, that looks so good or you can lay them flat like that and i would actually pull those stamens through a little bit more but my oh. hands are slipping oh, okay. on there but i tend to i don't know i like them one thing i'm going, going up like that and i've done nothing else with those flowers what you're showing there is so achievable it really is whatever level anybody of can do are, this everybody can achieve that I always say it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're decorating, whether or not you're in the kitchen, you're cooking. If you've got the right tools, it makes the job so much easier. Very, well, I mean, words to live by. Can I just show you one sample? Because I think when you start, and you know as crafters, if you see something, you're like, I want to do that. What I'm about to show you, when I saw this, that was it. I was sold on this collection. Have a look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful card. And it is that perfect balance of using your pattern papers that you're getting in the collection that are designed to work wonderfully with the climbing clematis. Then the flowers, the 3D flowers that you're going to make effortlessly using the mold. But beautiful realism that you can achieve with your 3D flowers in there as well. Or would you like to make something like this? 
Now we're really starting to explore why this is such a popular collection and release. You've got that wonderful birdcage and you've got all of that. Isn't that nice? And then just think about all the other dies that you may have. Yeah. So you may have the, um, the diamond shape that we've got on there. You may have some decorative dies. Maybe you brought the gate... Um, the gateway dies that we released a few months ago, they will all work beautifully with this collection. I've there is actually a scrapbook layout just underneath oh, yes, there. It has no photos okay. because I'm in the process of moving and I don't have any That's available. <laughs> so imagine there is two photos in okay. there. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, that um, is... A lovely and just scrapbook layout. Using the birdhouse to kind of differentiate, I can't say the word, but there we go, you know what I mean. Um, your, your photos, and then just sort of like, I've sort of like put those cascaded, those flowers. Yeah. Lovely. Down there. I've got, to, uh, I've got to hit you with some facts because <laughs> with 30% of the I Want It All collection in 26 minutes of the release. Now that's 30% of stock that was meant to last. This stock, we really did anticipate and hope we had enough stock to last a full 24 hours. This is exclusive. As it stands today, this is a, an exclusive bundle to the craft store. You're also getting the three flexi payments and the freedom price. And I tell you something, have a look, do your own research, because I think other places you can kind of pre-order, uh, but we've got it right now. Look at that price under a hundred pounds 98 pounds and three pence as freedom members for the complete collection I've got to point out if you're not a freedom member it's actually worth becoming a freedom member it's a why not deal you will still be saving money as a freedom member uh, so become a freedom member then have all the perks of freedom membership for a month then opt out at the end of the month you're getting 10 stamps 10 dies 24 pages of your paper pad and the flower shaping mold as well for 98 pounds and three pence. The saving is phenomenal. I mean, 38 pounds and 89 pence saving, but for a release that, forget the price at the moment. I know obviously price is important and we have got flexi payments as well, which means today you're not paying 98 pounds. Uh, as a freedom member today, 32.68 and you're spreading those payments over three months. So you've got two more payments after that. But it's not about the price. It's not about uh, the flexi. It's about ultimately buying something that, because however good a price is, are you going to use this? And the answer, in my view, is absolutely 100% yes. The flower shaping mold, and this is something Heartfelt Creations have been bringing us for a while, is an absolute game changer. So, I mean, $21.99 by itself. The depth, I'm, I was shocked. I really, I'm just going to show you here. So the flower shaping mold. Look at how deep that is. So that's the, the depth of uh, emboss that you're going to get from your flower shaping mold. They are phenomenal. Do you know, Freedom members are saving just shy of the mold and the pad. Just, I mean, if you think about it, I'm just shy, but let's say, getting both the mold and the pad. I think the difference is like one pound, nine pence. But look at that. So that gives you an idea of the saving that you're getting included in this set. But it's heartfelt creations as well, and we are approaching a third of the stock. We are busy. I will just show you a couple more inspirations of stuff you can do. I mean, come on. I promise you that when you get this release home, you are going to use the molds on everything. The flowers, because the, I mean, they look visually so fantastic, you're going to want to put them on everything. And the mold does pretty much everything for you. Yes, so these ones are from the paper pad. Yeah. The stamens in the centre are from paper, which we will do on the 8 o'clock show right. um, for one of my demos. And um, the flowers I actually put in the mould with the image faced upwards, so it actually shapes them slightly different. Because you have got your, you've got your die cut sheets within the mould as well, which are, I mean, beautiful. But then obviously once those run out, you can just use your uh, your stamps and you can use your uh, markers, your alcohol markers to colour. But I, I love think the this is definitely one of those paper pads that you may want to go for a second paper pad. We all yeah. have our favourites, and I think this one is going to be a lot of your favourites. I think it's so it's generic. Yeah. basically it's for birthday it's, it's for easter it's for anniversaries even weddings it is such a pretty Look paper pad that. 
it's such a great, the clematis as a flower is such a beautiful flower in itself. But what you can achieve with this collection is staggering. I'm going to show you one more and then we're going to get back because uh, I know there's lots more Nikki wants to share with you. But I mean, look at this. This one of yours, Nikki, no, it's not. It's it Lynn. isn't. That's Lynn, yeah. I do believe, from the um, design team. Wow. And what I like about this is the fact that she's used other elements from other collections. So she's used the clematis leaves in there. Yeah. But I can also see that she's used some rose leaves in there as well. So think about what, what else you've got mixing at home. A and mixing a match. Maybe you brought the magnolia. That would work Ooh. absolutely beautifully with I this think collection. The wisteria too. You can the wisteria, the yes, with and wisteria yes. together would be yes, very, very pretty. Yeah. Uh, we're going to head back to Nikki. What would you like to show us next? Nikki? Right. So we're going to make a card. Right. So, but before we do, should I just show you these flowers that we're going to put on it? So I've done it in exactly the same way. I've layered it up twice, but just look at those stamens in there, just giving it a completely a different. different look. Again, you will find these stamens on the website. Mm -hmm. um, it's end of checkout, isn't it? Mm. End yeah. Of call. End of call, yeah. Uh, end of call. Is that what we call it? End of yeah. call. Okay, I will get it right. Okay. So yeah, so largest, smallest. So you can see you've got various different sizes that you can use there, mm. okay? So what I've done is I've already gone ahead and stamped my image. Now, with this one in particular, I wanted to show you how the die worked. So I haven't die cut it out yet, yeah. but I'm just going to show you how I've coloured mine in. So I'm using some watercoloured pens. When I'm doing an image like this, I have a... I always do it. So I go from the centre image first. So that was the birdhouse. So I coloured that in first. And then I would do my leaves and then I would go in and do my flowers. But obviously I'm doing it a slightly different way. But again, look, all the image, all the detail is there for me. And because I know I'm going to be die cutting, it doesn't matter if I go out the lines a little bit. Okay, so just going in there with a nice light lime green. It makes a big difference for me as a crafter having the corresponding dies because something like this to fussy cut and it would bother me leaving a, uh, a sort of border around. I'd want to get in on all the detail. You would want to get all but the detail I mean, in there. That would take you forever to do. But you could, you don't have to use your dies, you could stamp it and have it flat. I mean, yeah. maybe um, you want to make a nice quick um, card that you're going to be posting, so you don't want to decoupage it up, so you can still have it flat. So I've gone in now with that darker green, then gone in with my lighter green and just blended that. Yeah. Then I'm going in with a very pale green, um, sorry, a pale pink okay. on this one. Again, you could use your daubers, but I just wanted to show everyone different ways of colouring. Nice. Okay, easy. Yeah. Then I'm going in with, now let me see if this is the right pink. I don't think it is. I think it's this one. It is. So I'm now going in with a really vibrant pink. And again, on those lines, on my clematis, I'm just flicking, mm -hmm. lightly flicking. I'm hardly touching Gentle flick, yeah. my paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going back in with my pale pink and I'm just going to mm -hmm. blend that you know what's in. lovely, Nikki? We've got viewers joining us in America. Oh, that's Find nice. Hello, We've everyone. We've got viewers joining us in Europe, UK. You know, just this is because Heartfelt Creations is an incredible international company. They sell across the globe and they've got fans across the globe. And uh, we like to think here at the craft store, we're an international brand as well. So it's so nice wherever you're watching, whether it's the States, Europe or the UK, you're part of the craft store family. And thank you so much for tuning in. So now I'm just going in with my yellow, mm -hmm. just adding the stamens in there. Lovely. And then we're going to go in with that dye. Yeah. Okay. So as I say, the die is what I would call a smidgen bigger than my image. Okay. And it literally sits over my image. Perfect. Absolutely perfectly. Mm. I can see ex even down to these little tiny kind of, um, what do they call them? Fronds? Yeah. The twisty things on a clematis it's even going to die cut those out. Mm -hmm. So tape it down, which is really important because when you're popping it through your machine, you don't want it to move. And then just pop that through. It's just 
<laughs> the, the, the counter shakes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they look so beautiful on there as well. So obviously remember when you've taped it down just to gently release that tape from your paper. And then there's that bit of tape there, so we'll take that off. Mm -hmm. And that piece there. And there you have, if I put it on my flower shaping mat, you oh can that see where that's cut all that out, look. In, in seconds, I mean, you imagine fussy And you can back, as I say, you can batch stamp, batch die cut. I always batch, um, batch make everything because then I've got all my elements to go to when I want to make a card. Lovely. So <coughs> talking about card, uh -huh. I've got my card ready here. So I'm going to do this one normal way. And right. then I've cut my image. So this is from the 12 by 12 full sheet. Yeah. And what I've done is I've just cut out just one small corner. Okay. And I'm going to glue that down. As you can see, it is double sided, but you are getting two of each mm. design. So just going to pop that down. I've done it a little bit smaller, so I've got that nice white edge yeah. around my card like that okay. and then what I've done is I've cut a circle or taken it was a heartfelt um, circle mm. die and I've just cut one of the small cottages from the paper pad Got but I've also cut out one of heartfelt's um, decorative circle dies yeah. So I know a lot of you might have this one, so I'm going to pop that up there. And it may, I don't want to cover too much of my fence up, so I'm going to have it just coming off of my card. Yeah. And then I've got some pads on there. I'll tell you which image this was from. It was the panels. So I cut it mm -hmm. from one of the, I think it was the four by six panel or three by six panel. Right. So that's where that image came from. And then I've got my um, birdhouse. Mm -hmm. But what I want to do is just add a little bit more detail. So image face down on my flower shaping mat. And I'm not going to add too much, but just enough just to lift a few of those leaves up. Mm. And there's a the flower water? there. I'd love a glass of water, yeah. please. I've got a bottle in the car and oh, I forgot okay. to bring it in. Sorry. Always go croaky. I think it's all the we'll excitement. Get you, we'll get you a little water. Thank you. And then when I turn that over, I can just add mm -hmm. a little bit more on my flowers. Love. And it just lifts them up slightly. It's such a there. nice image. I love that birdhouse and the beautiful clematis just climbing it's up just as well. It's just so pretty and refreshing, mm. isn't it? That's a, so that's bring a good description. So bring my card over yeah. and some foam tape. So I'm just mm. going to add some foam tape to my birdhouse. Oh, getting sticky tape everywhere. So just add one piece there. Oh fingers and thumbs today mm. and then a little bit just down there right and pop that just there so it's nice bright and vivid so you've got your lilacs on the paper pad and you've got sort of like a a dusky kind of pink but then I've gone decided to go a little bit brighter so now I've got one of the arches that I've um, coloured as well but what I want to do on that well mm -hmm. in actual fact I might do it on my flowers as well because mm. the colour is slightly different to what I've actually just coloured in I'm just going to add some glitter you've probably seen me quite a lot just recently using this it's a really kind of chunky crystal glitter oh, yeah. and I'm, I'm just like going to pop use that in there glitter. isn't it just <laughs> absolutely get covered in it and then I'm just can you see that you can still see the image oh, yeah. through that 
Oh, that is twinkling. Isn't that gorgeous? And it is on your website because that's where it came from. But I can't remember what make Ooh, it is now I because I've put though. it in my tub. Yeah. But it's definitely... Um, it's good chunky glitter. One of... Um, that is available on right. the website. Nice. So I'm now just going to add a little bit of foam tape to that arch. Mm -hmm. oh, squashed in my glitter. Mm -hmm. And then that is just going to sit on the top there. And then I've got my flowers. So first of all, as you can see, I made a mistake and I coloured one of the petals in green, which should have been um, pink. Okay. So, no mistake in crafting, I will not throw anything away. But if I put a flower there, you see, Done. that's hidden it. But I don't want to hide too much of it either. No, I want not. it to still be, be a nice focal point. What a lovely cottage as well. Isn't it? Uh, We've had this perfect. in quite a few of the collections. So if you think about, um, mm. I'm trying to think, I think we had the cottage in the Zinnia collection. Yeah. I think I remember seeing it even in the Dahlia collection as well. So, as I say, this is going to work really well with lots of other, I think all florals anyway, mm. will work right together, yeah. very, very well together. I don't want to hide too much of that, so I'm just going to put one flower. So if you see what I'm doing, rather than just put one big cluster, I'm trying to even it out on the card Balance. so it's kind of balanced it out. And then we've got a couple more here. So we'll just put one there. Mm -hmm. I think in actual fact, it took me longer to do and put the stamens together than it actually did the actual flower making and the colouring of the flowers. Wow. Well, it's all down to the mark. So all the it is speeds up the process and you can really batch make so would you i mean typically at home would you batch make would you do a load and put them in some storage and then just have them there well, i do used? you know me i'll show you some there we go <laughs> batch batch stamping and die cutting yeah. done Ooh, and it's busy. all there ready to go and then what i do is i have another tray I don't have a house full of trays, so don't think oh, I've just got a house full of trays. Once I've done my collections, they go in plastic sleeves mm -hmm. and then they go in like a file cabinet kind of thing. Yeah. So I go to, but then I have my flowers all in little compartments and my little food trays. Uh, love that. And then some that have already been through the mould as well. So I've got a bit of everything to go to. Yeah. It just makes it really easy. So when it comes to putting a card together, mm. I'm just going to add my sentiment on here. And this says birthday blessings. Now the sentiment, I'm going to pop down there, but the sentiment is actually from the Wild Rose collection that we brought back last, was it last month? Oh, or okay. It wasn't long ago, we brought it back. Mm. Um, so again, mixing and matching. So what I'm going to do is just take my fingers, just gen, I don't want too much. I still want to see my gorgeous flowers but if you just add a little bit here on the um, birdhouse and then just take my little spoon a little ice cream spoon this is thanks to my friend Lorraine she sent me these this is when I didn't live close to her and she sent me a packet of six little of these little spoons and I said what do I want them for and she said for your glitter she'd seen me struggling on the show oh that's um, nice but yeah so a little ice cream spoon yeah. there and there you have I don't know whether I'll put that sentiment up right a really wow beautiful but really easy to make card. What a s and using all the elements that you're getting, that is a stunning card, Nikki. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Had a, a lovely email in from Jules. I've got to read this out. So Jules was saying, hi, uh, I'm new to Heartfelt and I'm totally addicted 
uh, with their unique products and the flower making. So true, it is addictive in the best sense of the word. Uh, now check this out, Jules, <laughs> Jules, I'm impressed. Jules has bought the last five collections and has just purchased this one. Wow. So Jules, you are officially well a heartfelt uh, creation um, fan there. I would say yes, you're probably a heartfelt addict. Yeah. And if you haven't done, do join the heartfelt groups on social media. There's the official heartfelt group and I've also got one, Nikki and Friends, um, I always forget this, don't crafting I? Crafting with Heartfelt. That's it. Yeah. Nick and Friends, Crafting with Heartfelt. Yeah. And you'll see lots of um, ideas and techniques. The Heartfelt group is um, one where you'll see every all the design team work yeah, as well. Nice. Now, uh, yeah. Jill's actually got a question speaking of techniques. So okay. please could you ask the wonderful Nikki Thank if she you. thinks using alcohol pens or watercolour pencils makes the flowers uh, and leaves look more lifelike. So I'm, I'm thinking Jules is asking, mm -hmm. which would you prefer, alcohol pens or watercolour pencils? Which would you think? I would try both, okay. because I think each will give you a completely different look. And um, I tend to go to for watercolour because it's a lot quicker and I do make a lot of flowers, okay. as you can appreciate. Yeah. But alcohol markers, I think, would work beautifully oh with yeah. them as well. So give them both a go and, and see it. It is, yeah. I mean, two different styles, but they're both fantastic. As I say, you normally see me using the daubers, and I use the daubers because, one, I've got tons and tons of inks, but it's just so easy and quick. Mm. But when you have got a lot of time and you, and you enjoy colouring, which I do, Sometimes you can lose yourself in colouring yeah. and yeah, use your alcohol your markers time. and yeah. Jules also added, May, uh, many thanks for all of your tips and hints. You're a joy to watch and learn from. Oh, thank you. Uh, heartfelt Aww. hugs. Jules, Lovely. that's such a lovely email, so thank you so much for that. If you've got any questions or you just want to say hello, uh, we'd love to hear from you, studio at thecraftstore.com. So this is the launch of a one-day special. It is the latest release from Heartfelt Creations, and my goodness, has it been busy. This is the Climbing Clematis I Want It All collection. Within this collection, you're going to get 10 stamps, 10 of the coordinating dies. And when we say 10 stamps, we are talking large beautiful set. Let me just hold this up and show you. That is the trellis that you've just seen. So when we say 10 stamps, we're not talking about itty bitty stamps that you're getting in there. And you also have the coordinating dies in the mix too. So no fussy cutting whatsoever. You get your coordinating paper pad as well. And that really is the foundation, the heart of the release. So within there, you've got so many elements. You've got your topper sheets uh, within there having a look and a lot of uh, real hardcore Heartfelt Creation fans will double up and they are double sided so you can see that is the reverse on there. I mean look at this, chopping into these, making your cards but then you've got your larger elements in there too which are absolutely beautiful and something else Heartfelt do is give you the die cut sheets as well. These marry up to your dies so you'll just cut those out and it's already pre-coloured for you. So that is your pad. But we're not stopping there because you're getting the mould too. And if you have just tuned in, I need to show you this. The depth of the mould is absolutely incredible. I mean, it really is. It will blow your mind when you see this. Let me just show you. Look at that. That is seriously, the depth really does go down. And that's what gives you such great relief and dimension to your pieces. Uh, we are a third of the stock gone for this release, a third of the stock that's meant to last the full 24 hours, and we are busy. All I want to point out, as it stands right now, this is exclusive to the craft store. Uh, and something else that the craft store offers, Freedom Membership. Freedom Membership takes the price under 100 pounds. It is a why not deal, which means you're better off becoming a Freedom member and then taking advantage of that Freedom price. And as a Freedom member, you don't want to pay, look, 36, 31, no. You're going to pay the Freedom price for your flexi payment, taking it down to 32 pounds and some change. There it is, 32 pounds and 68 pence as a Freedom member. So exclusive to us, the price is incredible as well. Have a look, you know, my, if you've got a smartphone or a tablet, do a cursory search and see uh, other places you'll have to pre-order. With us, you're placing your order right now. I do want to point out though, and everyone's in the same boat here, it's the time it takes, to, there is extended delivery on this, the time it takes to come from America. So it will be dispatched from us on the 14th of June. 
take advantage of the savings, take advantage of the fact it is exclusive to the craft store and start playing. Uh, Nikki, you've got seven minutes. Right, so we'll do a different technique now with the flowers, with the stamens really, because as I say, mm -hmm. they are so easy to put through right. your mould. But so the, the flowers, are, I mean, with 3D mm. cards, look beautiful. How do you tend to post yours? It was a question that uh, we had from Julie. I tend to, um, you know, the bubble wrap. Yeah. Um, what do you call it? They've got a name, haven't they? Envelopes. Yeah. So right, if it yeah. was something like the one that I'm doing now, it would go in that. But if it was something like this one... Box envelope? I would make a box. Yeah. Yeah, which are actually really easy um, to actually make. There's loads of There's lots and lots of tutorials out there. Um, Put it in a box envelope, yeah. But definitely a box envelope for that one. But this one that we're going to do, I would say, I would. Do they call them jiffy bags? Yeah, I think yeah. I I think it might so. be brand jiffy new. Envelope. There might oh. be others out there, but yeah. Yeah, but bubble wrap bags. Yeah, <laughs> bubble wrap. Right. So this is actually a really easy card to make. So I've got my flowers. Mm -hmm. Pop them through the mold again. So with these ones, I'm going to just pop them in there. When you first look at the mould, you think the flowers are actually too small. But that's because of the depth in the mould. Yeah. Right, so I'm really now going to spritz in. that because I've got a... need another purple one. So we'll just pop that one in there mm -hmm. and just give that very, very light spritz of water. Now, I did have a question, and I do apologise, um, Brenda. I haven't had a chance to answer you. So Brenda has asked a question about the mould. So her problem is <coughs> she's using the Heartfelt Creations paper, mm -hmm. um, which is what basically what I'm using today. And when she's putting them through the mould, what she's saying is sometimes the actual petals sometimes break a little. Mm. I would say um, it may be your pressure in your machine um, or if you're layering the um, flowers up, you didn't actually mention whether or not you was laying them up, maybe you're putting too many layers in and it's breaking them up. But sometimes that does happen. Um, it's... Um, just how the, oh, I've got that white plate in there again. It's just how the mold works, especially if it's a really deep one. So I'm just just because I'm saying that, I'd like it to happen to me now, so I can just show everybody. It's yeah. nothing you're doing wrong. What she asked was, was she doing something uh. wrong? It isn't. It's just sometimes if the flowers are really tiny and delicate, you may get an odd petal Break. kind of breaks, but. It's not going to happen on this one. It has happened to me with these sometimes. So there's one here. Well, they're all perfect. That's, yeah, but there was a double one. So where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Look. So can you see where I've doubled that up? I sometimes as well, when I'm putting my stamens in, if it's a smaller flower like this, sometimes break the petals. But mm. what I do is I just glue them together as I'm putting the flower. But so just is look. Is that from the paper pad? No, these are ones that I've coloured. Yeah, okay, because you coloured them beautifully. Yeah, again, Love this that. is just using the daubers. Wow. But I mean, just look, every single petal there Got is perfect. Four okay, so I'm going to be really, really quick, he says. Mm -hmm. So all I'm doing is I'm going to put them on singly. I meant to colour the middles first. But what I was going to do was. I'm going to very quickly, I've got enough time, I think, because it is a very quick card, adding some glue mm -hmm. in the centre of each flower. And then I'm going to, I need a card or a piece of card. There we go. Just so I don't make a mess and I put this in. So this is some Flower Soft. And I'll just keep them on the mat, actually, because it's going to be quicker. Mm. So just sprinkling that on. Like that. Okay. And then just popping them down. Just give it a little tap. And you can see I could have done with a little bit more on there, but we'll leave that. A little tiny... 
centres in there, so it's a little bit different. So you can create something a little bit different mm. if you don't want to use the stamens. Really easy, quick flowers they are. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll just put that to one side. Okay. Okay, so now we're going back to my card. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the tag cards from Heartfelt Creations. I've cut two and I've scored along the top so that when I pop that front on, it opens up like that. Perfect. And then just very quickly added some foam tape to that tag. So with this one, it's not quite straight because I'm rushing. Okay. There we go. Three Again, I'm using my... Um, two minutes, sorry, two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes, right, okay. So, no pressure. Again, a sentiment from, I think this was the Hydrangea collection, uh -huh. which was, the, was it called the Country Cottage? I'm not 100% sure. Okay. And then, glue gum. So I'm not using the birdhouse on this, I'm just using some of the pretty paper from the paper pad. Mm -hmm. And using the cottage as the main focal point. Okay. And just put that one under there. Into the last minute. That's fine because, believe it or not, I have done. Beautiful. And there you have a really wow. pretty but instant card. I haven't doubled the flowers up. I've used different centers in the middle, but you've got that same effect because I've used the flower shaping mold. Stunning. And it is that flower shaping mold. Over a third of the complete collection has gone. Uh, and I have to say so many of you are going for the one day special. This is why because when you use this collection, you make a heartfelt creation card. It's a card anyone sees it and knows that is heartfelt. I mean, look at that. Or, look at that. I know we're into the last like 10 seconds, but isn't that stunning? Nikki, thank you so thank much. Thank you, it's been lovely. Uh, you're going to be back with Haley at eight? I will, eight o'clock tonight. Yes. Make sure to tune in. Thank you so much for joining us. You're going to love this collection. We can't wait to see what you make.